Hello students, in last lecture we have started our unit 4 that is entrepreneurs, entrepreneurship or we have gone through with the entrepreneurial skill development means what are the skills which are required for a person who is known as an entrepreneur that is entrepreneurial skill development. So today we will discuss about the important qualities or characteristics or skills that are necessary for a successful entrepreneur okay so see in last lecture we have seen what is the basic difference between entrepreneur and businessman so the person who is taking a less risk or who do not want to take more risks higher risk in the business is known as a businessman whereas an entrepreneur is such person who is ready to take higher risks in the business okay a businessman who will follow the footsteps for the other for the other businessman so he is known as a businessman whereas entrepreneur okay he wants to utilize a uh, innovative techniques technical innovative uh, new technology which is introduced in the market okay he is a higher risk taker and he is ready to take, take more and more risks in the business he is not looking or he is not thinking about the loss in the market whereas a businessman he wants to save himself and do not want to take more risk and face the uncertainty whereas entrepreneur is ready to take risk he is uh, ready to utilize modern techniques in the business and he is grabbing the market because his product is supposed to be introduced in the market for the first time so he can grab the market he can achieve the success for his product in the market because he is the introducer of introducer of the product in the market because this is the basic difference between businessman and entrepreneur so now what are the certain qualities which are required for the successful entrepreneur desire to excel if you want to be a successful entrepreneur successful uh, entrepreneurship successful runner of an enterprise then the very first page you must desire to excel that burning desire should be inside you you should always always feel that i will face the competitors because i am a higher risk taker okay so the entrepreneur should always engage in competitions with self imposed standards with himself to be his last best performance okay here we can take the example here of sachin tendulkar what he did you know he has broken his own earlier set records and then he became the record setter okay earlier in a particular match okay he scored 150 runs in the second match he will break his own record so entrepreneur he is giving a competition to himself okay he wants to set his own standards and he will beat himself and he will go ahead. It means he wants to become a successful entrepreneur. His businessman is different and entrepreneur is different. That is why it is said he beat his last best performance. Right? So, according to Mac McLean, the definition given by him, a high achievement motive strengthened him to surround the obstacles, suppress anxieties, repair misfortunes and desire experience. So, these entrepreneurs must have a strong desire to be a winner. He must have the desire to be excellent in his own area or in his own field. That is, desire to excel. Then, hard work. Obviously, hard work is there. Without hard work, nothing, nothing is going to on for the business. So, entrepreneurs who successfully build a new enterprise possesses an intense level of strong determination and willingness to work hard. Okay? They possesses a capacity to work for long hours and in spurts of several days and less than normal amount of sleep. Okay, he has to be a special person because he is competing himself. He is not competing with others. He wants to break his own records. He, if last year he have made one crore of profit, then this year he will set his target as a profit for two crore. And for that set target, he has to take lot of lot of efforts. He will lose his sleep. Okay, he has. He must have a desire to work hard. He must be determined. He has certain uh, what you say goals. He has set the goals for himself. 
he is always self motivated and he is ready to work hard for his success so through the work hard and intense desire to complete a task solve the problem and overcome hurdles they can able to achieve the never ending goal of excellence correct self confidence entrepreneurs must have confidence and believe in themselves to achieve their desired objective they strongly believe that they can beat anyone in the field they do not believe in status quo rather they believe that the events in their life are self determined and have little benefit belief in fate okay so initiate entrepreneur must have must have initiative seeking personal responsibilities for actions and use the available resources for optimization of objectives they take full credit of the success and assume full responsibility for the failure of the business they are self responsible okay if they are facing loss if they are failed in the business they are themselves responsible if they are earning higher profits they are earning more and more income in the business then they are only responsible so they are taking initiative they are making themselves responsible for the success and failure of the business so this is the then modern risk taker entrepreneur must be a modern risk taker and learn from the failures okay everyone every human being should do that okay the you should learn from your failures you should learn from your past experiences you should learn from your mistakes which you have made in past so the successful entrepreneur are neither hard risk taker nor gambler they work in between the extremes they take more moderate challenging risks they are taking calculated risks and attain moderate returns which are in tune to with their abilities and decisions innovative entrepreneur must be innovative and creative okay he should use new ideas for his businesses through his innovative ideas and creative thinking and entrepreneur can be able to engage himself in the analysis of various problems and situations in order to deal with them an innovative entrepreneur introduces new products develops new methods of production discovers new market and reorganizes the enterprise so motivation innovation innovative you have seen he must be innovative and creative he should try to adopt the modern techniques in the business new idea new technology which is introduced time timely he must be ready to accept that he must be ready to follow and innovative entrepreneur introduces new products develops new methods of production discovers new market and recognizes the enterprise correct so motivation an entrepreneur should have a strong motivation towards the achievement of a task and must be able to exert considerable effort in getting things done by others he should be a person who likes working with the people and has skill in dealing with them he has to motivate people to act through his interpersonal skill motivation is very much required communication skill motivation self motivation self confidence these are the basic skills which are which must a entrepreneur should have or must have he must be resourceful okay he must be a high risk taker he must be innovative he must be self motivated okay he should not think about the past whatever has been happened in the past he will face that he will overcome from his problems and he will set new targets for him and he will with self motivation he will engross himself he will improve himself and prove as a best entrepreneur in the market optimistic two words are there pessimistic and optimistic a businessman should have positive optimistic means positive attitude coming in the market facing the risks taking the risks okay uncertainties and proving himself as a positive person as a optimistic man in the business entrepreneurs do not believe that success or failure of a business venture depends mostly upon luck or fate or extreme uncontrollable uncontrollable factors they are highly optimistic because the success of the enterprise they use positive knowledge to support their thinking they are rarely negative they always look at bright side of the situation okay they do not go in negative or they negative uh, attitude or they always think positive for their business okay they are never disturbed by any internal and external threat of the business or intermittent problems in accomplishing their goals it is not that they are um, extremely ready to face they are or they are human being finally but their attitude their optimistic attitude their positivity gives them support 
okay and they go ahead with new ideas and new what to say their goals then analytical ability entrepreneur must be realistic in their approach they should not be affected by the personal likes and dislikes at the time of crisis they must select experts rather than their friends and relatives to solve the problem they to whom they will go if there is a problem they will go to expert they will talk with the other entrepreneurs who are their uh, competitors okay even in case of competitors they will talk to them they will take some suggestions and they will try to solve the problem they must analyze the problem in detail before taking any decision mental ability mental ability refers to their inner strength of an entrepreneur which helps him to reach his goals mental ability he must be strong with him mentality or he must be 100% positive he should not think about others although there are some people who are attached to them they are thinking that do not continue the business you are continuously facing the losses but still he is mentally strong he is able he is capable to handle the situations so it is that ability which helps him quickly respond to difficult situations it consists of intelligence and creative thinking of an enterprise though through this ability entrepreneurs are able to adjust themselves with the changing business environment you should be always dynamic when you call yourself as an entrepreneur then you must be dynamic you must try to cope up with yourself with the changing business environment then only you can be a successful entrepreneur communication ability entrepreneur must be a well versed with an art of communication it is the skill through which both the sender and the receiver understand each other and are being understood entrepreneurs are required in many situations to influence customers employees suppliers creditors and government and make them think in the way and act accordingly okay an entrepreneur who can effectively communicate and convince the above people will be more likely to succeed than the entrepreneur who does not correct communication he should be a best communicator whatever he say he must be a best convincing human he must convince his business how his product is good and why others should buy his product only he must have that capacity he must be capable of handling or for convincing for his own ideas for his own flexibility entrepreneurs should be flexible in their decisions in the sense that they should not be very rigid in the decision making process if the situation demands a change in the decision that will be beneficial to the enterprise then after analysis in the pros and cons of the decision the entrepreneur should revise and modify to change the decisions correct then interdependence successful entrepreneurs do not like to be guided by others they prefer to work in an environment free from interference they want to take their own decisions the entrepreneur want to have a control overall control of his own business then they do not like the interference of others they like to be independent in the matters of decision making of their own business for their own business they want to be their own masters and they is to be agent build agent build acha see this word means they want to be their own masters okay and pigeon hole it means what they want everything to be done by themselves they don't want the interference of others in the business whatever the decisions have been made for them that is full and final they are not going to accept the suggestions of the others leadership entrepreneur must possess his good leadership qualities to become a successful entrepreneur because leadership is the important aspect of entrepreneurship their entrepreneur must have ability to lead so that he can induce the people to work with confidence and zeal he is always enthusiastic he is always a resourceful person he always lead in the business it is an aid to authority and help in better utilization of manpower good human relations ability entrepreneur must have the ability to maintain and establish good relations with customers employees suppliers financiers and other people related with the business run it effectively and efficient emotional stability tactfulness and warm human relations are most important qualities which bring success to enterprise how entrepreneur should be it is said here because he has to deal with customers he has to deal with employees he has to continuously in touch with his suppliers financier and while doing that he should keep good relations with them okay he should not be very emotional okay he should not be very how do you say always a bossing kind of nature with his employees with his customers but he must be a balanced person 
emotional stability, tactfulness, and warm human relations are some important qualities which bring success to an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur who maintains good human relations is much more likely to succeed in his business than the individual who does not practice such relations. Okay, so individual here it is said that a business. I hope this topic is clear. These are the certain skills, qualities, or a different personality. How a uh, entrepreneur should use different techniques in his business and how he should prove himself as a best performer in the market so that he will call a entrepreneur. This is how we have completed this topic, the skills required for a entrepreneur. Thank you.